welcome back everyone my name is sagar and we are back here with another video so today's day 194 of our beauty series and uh, this question name is minimize the sum so this is given a easy level question and it is a very straightforward question so even if you know the concept of priority queue then you must have done this question okay and uh, here you are given n elements and we are also given an array of size n and we have to remove any two elements from the list so First of all, we have to pick any two elements and we have to remove them. And after that, we have to note their sum. So we'll just store uh, store their sum in some variable and add the sum back to the list. So that means the size of the list will be reduced by one because first of all, we are selecting two elements and then adding one element back. That is the sum of these two selected elements. Okay. So repeat these steps while there is more than a single element in the list. So that means we have to repeat this step while there are minimum two elements in the list. Okay. So when there is one element in the list, then we cannot just do this thing. So we cannot just select two elements and add their sum. So the minimum number of elements in the list should be two. And after that, the task is to minimize the sum of those chosen, chosen sums. So first of all, we have to minimize the thing. And how can we minimize the sum? So first of all, we have to only select the minimum elements every time. So one for this is the minimum. So we'll just select it and the sum will be five. So we will just add back the sum. So 5, 7 and 10. This will be the list now. And after that, again, we have to repeat the same thing. We have to select the minimum number, minimum elements. So we'll always select the minimum element because we have to minimize the whole sum. So 5 and 7, that will be uh, that will be 12. And we will just add this sum also. So we will just store a global variable. That will be our answer. So we will just add first 5 here, then 5, 7 plus 5, that will be 12. So 5, 12 plus 5, that will be 17. So answer will contain 17. And at next step, we will just add this 12. So 12 and 10. And after that, we will just select these two. And the final sum will be 39. So every time we have to select the minimum elements. Okay. And that is why we have to use here priority queue. Because even if we are sorting the array, so that means in this case, suppose. So when we are sorting the array, this part is sorting. This part is already sorted. But when, when when we are talking about this thing, so 12 and 10, this part is not sorted. So that means we have we have to every time sort the array and we just cannot remove and add elements in our array. So arrays are static, right? So that is why we have to use here priority queue. So first of all, we will just add all the elements in our PQ. Add i. And after that, what we have to do? First of all, we will start a loop and we will just start removing elements from our priority queue. And what will be the condition? So condition was at least there should be uh, two elements in the array. So we have to just remove two elements and we can just add their sum back. So add their at least minimum elements to should be two. So pq dot size size should be greater than one, or we can say greater than equal to two. So this condition is satisfied, <coughs> and uh, there is always a minimum two elements in our priority queue. And when when there is not, we will just break out and we will just return our answer. And uh, the answer should be long. And uh, after that, first of all, we will get two elements and we will store their sum. So we have to remove two elements and note their sum. Okay. So that is the thing we are going to do. Remove. So this is our first element. PQ dot remove. And by default, Java produces min heap. And in C, it is a max heap. Okay. So you have to pass some constructor here if you want max heap in Java. And uh, so we just remove two elements and we have their sum so first of all we will just add it to our answer answer plus equal to current and we can also add it to our priority queue current so this will be one and four initially so one and four and we will just add it to five and we will just add it and it will become five so current equal to five and we will add it to answer and also our priority queue and we will just repeat this thing until we have this 22 left and the final answer will be 39 so I hope now you can understand this thing. This is a very easy question and straightforward. So we just have to select minimum two elements and that's how we can just minimize our final sum. So it is here final sum minimize and it will always return us minimum sum. So that is it about today everyone and the time complexity of this priority queue is n log n because first of all we are adding all the n elements. So whenever we add one element in our priority queue it takes log n time to make it a heap. Okay. 
so first of all when we add our first element it take log n time and then second element so it again take log n time and we are adding total of n elements so n into log n so that is the time complexity of this and this loop so n log n and uh, that's it and the size uh, space complexity is of n so they are the expected time and space complexity and that is it about today everyone if you like this video if you know this approach already then do like and do subscribe to our channel so thank you for watching